It was a long seven months at sea for the men and women aboard the USS Laboon, and now they're finally home. Our Jacqueline Lee was there to capture the hugs and tears at Naval Station Norfolk. After logging more than 50,000 nautical miles, the USS Laboon is finally home. For a lot of these anxious families, it was a long six-month deployment. My heart was pounding since the day he left. For the past three days, I have not been able to sleep or really eat anything. I think I'm just really anxious and really excited to see her again. The cheers signal the approach of the USS Laboon. The guided missile destroyer was conducting operations in the Middle East and the Mediterranean since January. They seized more than 680 kilograms of rock heroin and hashish, worth more than $50 million. It was a long day. We were on board those, those uh, small boats for about 18 hours, I believe, making sure we got everything. But, you know, the good news is we kept all that money out of the hands of the people that want us to do us harm. And today, these sailors finally got to come home. Darkell Johnson got the first kiss. It feels good. It's been a long time. Yep, we're having a baby next week too, so that's even more to be excited for. That's your boy. Jesse Miller got to hold his son for the first time. Uh, I've seen him on FaceTime a few times, but the first time in real life was great. It was, it was exciting for sure. And for Aaron Bartnick, after 20 years, it was his last deployment, closing his chapter in the Navy. Awesome, awesome. My babies had their daddy back. I have my husband back. We're a family again. Just one of many back together. In Norfolk, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now. A big welcome home.